Okay, we're going to settle the debate. We're going to settle the debate that is made across ham radio clubs by many hams across the entire globe, whether the Baofeng UV5R is spectrally clean. Not only that, we're going to compare it with this, the UV K5, the Quan Chang radio. Now what I've got is here, I've got a UV5R3. This is a common radio that you can buy off of Amazon. This is an Amazon buy, this UV5R is an Amazon buy. It is not the GT5, it is nothing like that. This is the common bog standard UV5R that you can get off Amazon. So which one is going to come out supreme? Which one is going to be the cleanest radio on the air. For this test, I have my trusty Agilent HP 8924C test set. This is 0.4 megahertz to one gigs. We've basically got a 20 dB through line attenuator here and just a short bit of cable, low loss cable RG223 with a, a special connector on the end here for the SMA to go into the radios. So let's see if what was specially clean. Let's test the Baofeng first. Okay, boom, 146,500, we're good to go. Let's see that. There's our main signal. Now, let's go to a harmonic. This is our second harmonic of 293 megahertz. And oh dear, 20 dB M. We need to be looking at something around minus 16 dBm to be complying with the FCC rules. Um, and other similar rules here in Australia and elsewhere uh, and worldwide as well. So the second harmonic is not that good. Let's go UHF 439.5. This would be the third harmonic, and the third harmonic is almost compliant. No, it is. Ah, uh, I realise what's going on. I had a CTCSS tone on, which was making my waveform look interesting. So there we go, and we get minus. 13, almost, but not quite. Let's go to the fourth harmonic, and we're, com we're good, we're good, minus 30, we're, we're way down. Second, third harmonics, no good. Fourth harmonic, we're good to go. So that is the UV5R3, or at least the Amazon version. Let's move over to the Quan Chang. Okay, we're good to get cranking, 146,500, same as the Baofeng, and boom, there's our signal. Let's go up to the second harmonic at 293 megahertz or close enough. And that is much, much cleaner than a Baofeng, much cleaner. Minus 15, almost ticking minus 16. Let's go the third harmonic in UHF and we're way down, minus 30, we're good. And the fourth harmonic is way down again. So there we go, the Quan Chang wins out. It is cleaner than a Baofeng UV5R that you can buy off of Amazon. But I know some of you are going, but I only use my radio on UHF. I only use it on GMRS for an example. Okay, let's do a test on GMRS and let's see just how clean they are. Righto, let's start off with, and I think this is channel one, GMRS with the Quan Chang and Boom, there we go. Let's go up to the second harmonic, which is 925 decimal 125 megahertz. Now, my test monitor will only go up to one gig, so I can only test the second harmonic. And it is minus eight, minus nine. So do what you will with that. I don't know the exact regulations of GMRS, but I'm sure that you can look those up. Let's put the Feng to the test. 462, 5625, and we'll just go straight to the second harmonic. And, hey, it's not too bad. It's actually better. It's actually much better than the Quan Chang. So there you go, I hope that settles the debate. Now I've done a stack of other videos about all of these radios, these handheld cheap radios that you can buy, including this, the TalkPod radio as well. If you wanna go and watch those, then there will be a card that pops up with those videos. Check them out, let me know what you think in the comments below, and uh, stay clean, stay clean. I don't think that this is gonna stop the Baofeng debate about whether it's crap or not.